Freddie Williams. We're here in Sydney for Supernova 2023. We have Kevin Eastman, who is the legend himself off camera right here, who's the co-creator of the Ninja Turtles, one of my artistic heroes of all time, and uh, now new friend, which I'm happy to say. Don Simariva, we have Jamie Johnson, and we've got like four or five more artists down here. Camilio, and a lot of us do a lot of Ninja Turtle work. Other stuff too, but mostly Ninja Turtles. I was lucky enough to get chosen to draw the Batman Ninja Turtles crossover. So that involves the turtles, but that Batman was in there with them, swinging around the city and eating pizza together. Right after that was He-Man Thundercats, which I'm a little older. I'm in my mid forties now, 46. So when I was about in fourth grade, He-Man and the Thundercats was like my whole world. I, I just watched those two cartoons all the time. And then after that was another Batman Ninja Turtles, then Injustice versus Masters of the Universe, so He-Man again. Then another Batman Ninja Turtles, then Godzilla Power Rangers, the one that I did just last year. I've done a ton of other covers like Transformers Terminator, something called First Strike that had the Transformers, Rom the Space Knight, G.I. Joe, and all. So just a ton of that stuff all mixed together, which I love. I'm, I'm very lucky to get to draw it. The only complaint I have about working in comics, it's more of like an observation of a flaw that's in the system is basically when you're drawing a project like this, it's so many hours of the day because you've got to get it done in a month. Every issue is basically a month, maybe give or take. So the disadvantage of that is the first couple of issues, you're all raring to go. But then about issue three or four, you start getting, you're just really tired because that's all you're doing is working. But it's around that time that every once in a while, it'll dawn on me. I'm getting to draw Batman and Ninja Turtles, or I'm getting to draw He-Man and the Thundercats or Godzilla and the Power Rangers. So that 10 year old version of myself, every once in a while pops his head into my consciousness just to remind me that he, although it's a lot of hours and you're tired, dude, you're so lucky that this is what you're getting to draw. So 10 year old self all the way up to uh, 46 year old self is pretty excited, you know. Well, I'm here with Freddie Williams. Uh, it was your idea to do a review of Return of the Living Dead. And so we're here to talk about the famous film, Return of the Living Dead, Rave to the Grave. <laughs> I love Red Letter Media. Red Letter Media is mainly a film review YouTube channel, but it's lots of really funny, witty observations. They're very funny, witty people themselves, and they break down sometimes in a, uh, a crude, but really funny, usually uh, observational way, some bad movies that most people have never seen, stuff that was only ever released on VHS back in the you know, 80s through, you know, through the present or direct to VOD or whatever. They're a really good group of guys. I happened to have met them and became friends with them back in maybe 2012, something like that. And this was before they were ultra popular. They are very popular now. Once I connected with them, I did a feeding frenzy cover. That's one of the movies that they had made. They had these little things called globkins that were like mad balls that would come and eat people. I drew the cover for that. I was uh, had a space cop cameo, which was their next movie. And then I've been on their show a few times where we talk about movies and how much we love some movies and hate other movies. And that's what they're, they're great at. And they have a really huge following and a very, they're all very diligent. They watch every one of their episodes. If you look at their subscriber count and their view count, their views are always slightly higher than their subscribers. What I mean by that is everyone subscribed to it watches those episodes. They're all very active as far as a group or a following of them. So um, about every year or so I get to hang out with them. We'll shoot a couple of videos and then they'll edit them and space them out. But um, cool, cool group of guys. Yeah. I'm doing some other crossover stuff. So a, uh, a sequel to a crossover I did recently, but it hasn't been announced yet. I've done some covers on Last Ronin Part 2, a five-part interconnecting cover, a cover for the Ninja Turtles Saturday Morning Adventures is the name of the, of the book. There's like three things I can't talk about. I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of like three or four different projects that I, hasn't really been announced. So, but probably in the next couple of months it will be. So that's awkward for anyone watching this video in the future, you know? <laughs> but if you're really into the artwork that I, I create, I really appreciate that. It's been the only dream that I've ever had as a kid growing up is to draw comic books for a living. And so I feel honestly very lucky that there are people who like my artwork enough to buy the comic books, sometimes buy original art or whatever just very supportive. I get a lot of really positive feedback and, and appreciation, so I appreciate that. I guess I'm appreciative, and I'm also very lucky. There's a lot of people who work really hard and they don't they don't get the same opportunities that I've gotten and stuff, so so thank you for being, you know, if you weren't buying those books, I probably wouldn't keep getting the opportunities that I'm getting, so yeah, thank you very much, and please keep it up. That would be awesome. I, I wanna keep drawing more of this stuff.